Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma! We've got some mini Quakers to deal with in this room. I'd make some, like, Quaker jokes or oatmeal jokes, but I'll be honest, I don't really know much about either of them. So I don't think I could do that very well. Ha! Yeah, the trick to defeating these guys is to stay a little bit far away from them, wait for them to come out of their holes, and then attack them like that. If you need to, use a power ring and get Majorac number 21 here. All right. We've got a lot of Majoracs here. We're going to have a lot for the next area, and we will want them. Try all new mini Quakers. Just add fire to them. I'll be honest, I don't know how you eat oatmeal. Never had oatmeal in my life, I don't think. I'm more of a eggs and an English muffin for breakfast kind of guy. Kind of plain taste, I'll be honest with you. Now let's uh, jump on here. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, that does it. Pyro rings for cockatrices! How do you like that now? Yeah! Wish I had Bombos back in Final Fantasy 1. Well, we had Fire too, but that doesn't count, you know? Let's see, wasn't there... Ah, there we go. I knew there was another one around here. It's down here. Ha! There we go. What's that little sparkle there? Kind of looks like a tab. Mr. Sparkle? No. No. But we do get the Sharp Claws! Yay! What do those things do? Well, I could check it in my item menu, but I'll just show you. You see those little honeycomb looking walls or whatever they are uh, you can climb them now with the sharp claws yay so now we can go new places that we couldn't go before earlier in the area you ever eat honeycomb cereal viewers just curious nuts he's gonna knock me down again no come on come on get up there get up there make it make it make it yes haha <laughs> you are too late cockatrices I'm gonna call them cockatrices, or even if that's not what they really are. We get another medium bowl. I'm gonna call them medium bowls because there's S bulbs, M bulbs, L bulbs. Large, small, medium, and large. Just like french fries. Or whatever drink you get. Something like that. Okay, well, now that we got the sharp claws, we can head back here and explore some other areas, or re explore those areas. Oh, and by the way, I found an easy way of killing these guys. Once the, You have to wait for them to come out of the ground. Don't hit them while they're still like in a mud form there, because then that's why I kept on getting hit all the time with them. I probably knew that, but I, well, forgot. There we go. Wow, that new rock spear is amazing here. <laughs> you know, the music here kind of reminds me of Contra for some reason. I mean, come on, who didn't play Contra back in the day? I, I actually have played action games. I'm just not into them nowadays. Especially the FPSs. Of course, I wish I was playing one right now. I think you can jump in the air to avoid getting immobilized by those Quakers, but I keep on forgetting. Yeah, I played Goldeneye back in the day, but then it was like, after that, it was like, eh, just lost interest in first-person shooters. Just didn't do it for me. Let's head on down here then. This is a new area, by the way. Whoa. How did I avoid, like, not getting immobilized there? Huh. Well, whatever. Uh, let's go to the right first. Or we could go to the left first. The other right. Hopefully these borfs won't knock me down. There we go. Ha! No, don't fall down the cloud. There we go. Ha! Ha! Whoa! Too many borfs. Okay, that does it. Pyro rings! If you get like three or four enemies on the screen, you might as well use the pyro rings. That's what they're there for when you get ambushed like this. Especially against these guys, because they just pin you against the wall, and you're screwed. Nothing you can do about it. Well, we get 87 gems, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Well, I did get a sharp stick earlier, but... Well, it's a rock stick. And we get Majorac number 22! Alright. Okay, now let's head uh, down these... I don't know if you call them a cliff, but ledges, I guess. Now, when you go down here, press to the right! To the right! There we go. 
and we get Mandarak number 23, the last Mandarak we can get in this area. Not that having an odd number of uh, Mandaraks really helps us at this point, but eh, you take what you can get. Now the boss is to the right, but I want to head to the left first. Oh, of course there's a boss here, as if, there, if it's, as if that's a spoiler, viewers. As if my stuttering is a spoiler to you, viewers. As if you weren't expecting that. Whoa! Uh, wait for it? No, no, no. Get over here. Okay, let's let's try that one again. Kind of like those, uh, what are those guys? Len Molas or something like that? And we get up to level 11. All right. It'd be nice to be at level 12 by the time I get to the next area, but, well, we'll take what we can get. So let's head over here then and get this treasure chest that we couldn't get earlier. A life potion. All right. Let's use that. Gain a few extra points. Can I get it? Did I? Oh, there we go. I was like, did it work? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Get back here. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, was I in the item menu? Where's the item menu? Oh, right, I am in the item menu already. Uh, it was just kind of what was going through my head there, viewers. I don't think you want to get into my head, though. Once you get inside there, viewers, there's no going back, baby. Okay, well, let's head to the right this time. If you took the left path out of that sliding area, you would have ended up down here instead of getting that Mandarak because, well, you can't climb up there anymore. You can't jump and climb. It doesn't work that way. Ha! There we go. Gotcha. I don't think that vine leads anywhere. I think it just leads to a dead end. I've gotten all the treasure in the Mandarak, so I can't imagine there'd be anything useful there. And you can climb to the left and the right with those uh, sharp claws there, not just straight up. So that's pretty nice, too. See, I don't think there's any enemies on this screen now that I think about it. Okay, so once I get to the top there, uh, I want to take a moment to heal up, and then I'll be right back. If I can ever get to the top of this honeycomb labyrinth. There we go. Okay, we're all healed up and ready to go. So let's climb to the peak of Great Cliff for boss time! It, the boss shoots, I don't know what those things are, talons at you? You can block them. I can't hit it yet. Eventually I'll be able to. There we go. Wait for it to come down. Ha! Get in another hit there. Yes, got it. Let's even use a power ring on it. You can use magic during this boss battle. If I need to, I could even use a grass pin. I may want to eventually, but uh, right now my HP isn't high enough to really warrant using a grass pin over my bulbs. There we go. Don't fall off the cliff, like down there or to the left or the right, because you'll have to start all over. And it'll summon one of its friends. Yay! And uh, that bird, the brown bird, don't worry about it. I killed the boss a little too quickly there. It would uh, attack you with its bird droppings, essentially. I'm not kidding you, viewers. Oh, okay, so they're not going to poop all over me or my car anymore. That's great. Just like that one Halloween, the sidewalks, when I was eight years old at Halloween, the sidewalks were literally covered with bird poop. I mean, end to end, I could not see the sidewalks. It was probably the geese. I, it was the geese. But it was just... it. It scarred me for life. Now, whenever I see a geese, like, in the road, you run them down. Well, I, I never really do that, but you know what I mean. This is your brain. This is your brain on Terranigma. Any questions? Any of you remember that commercial? No? Eh, that's a little too old, I guess. Yay! We saved the birds. The birds! Yay! Happy music! Well, can't I get some color around here? No! Yay! Sanctuary has been saved. I'm going to call it Sanctuary, even though it's technically Sanctuar because of the abbreviation that they did there. Oh! So the signal from Windvale, it tells them, 
I guess to fly south for the winter or something. I don't know. What about the coconuts? Don't they migrate? Now let's just keep on heading up here. If I can. I don't know what happened to the water there. That's what happens when your brain is on Terra Enigma. Uh, isn't there another bird supposed to tell me where to go? There we go. Oh, okay. So we gotta climb up the wall there to get the king to the king's bird's nest with our sharp claws. Next time on Let's Play Terra Enigma. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.